What is up? And welcome to the third episode of the Phantom Podcast. I'm Sid. I'm Jenny. And since tomorrow is Halloween, this is our Halloween special. (laughs) Um, I know we promised supernatural and fringe discussion today, but I'm a damn dirty liar who can't read a calendar, so here we are. (laughs) I'm not much better, and you think I would would considering what I do for a living. (laughs) I mean, we... We're, we're busy. We are busy people. We don't have time to acknowledge the calendar unless, I don't know. <laughs> Dates are a fiction anyway. It's true. Time is a construct of humanity. Sorry, Whatever. I've been reading Welcome to Night Vale. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just in the middle of an existential depression, so nothing means anything. Time means nothing to me right now. And especially after I got spoiled for Supernatural, I... I'm pretty sure. I, I don't, I don't want to confirm I'm not what I think I, that I saw, and I'm I just want to cry quietly. I'm not saying a damn thing. Please don't. My heart cannot take it. <laughs> I need to hurry up and catch up on season twelve, and then I probably need to wait until like the day before Halloween and then watch it, so that way I have all of Halloween to distract me, you know, from the inevitable depression and. Um, crying and screaming and sobbing that will happen. It doesn't help season 12 was just weird from beginning to end. No, oh, Jesus Christ. All of it. And you know you know me well enough to know what I mean by weird. It's just, I looked at it and went, this is a thing. No, oh, Lord. Like, there are I mean, great episodes, but there are episodes where I'm going, okay, guys, lay, what off, are we doing? lay off the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> As long as there is not no more of those. I remember, I think it was season eight had that werewolf episode. As long as there is nothing like that again, I'm good with it. Uh, the one with the handy cam? <clears throat> yeah, it was called something like Bitten or something like that. Yes, that was season eight. Yeah, that was, I was so mad afterwards. I was like, I just wasted like 50 minutes of my life plus Hulu commercials watching this bullshit. Are we the only ones that so. remember Hulu was originally advertised as no commercials? Oh my god. Listen, I don't even want to start on that. Um, so let's let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a lot of feelings today, Jimmy, and none of them are good. You're full of so many feelings. I am full of feelings and subway. So <laughs> I'm in a good place. That's very literal. I can't say anything. I'm, I'm full of Ben and Jerry's, so... Oh, God. What flavor? Um, fish food. Ah, uh, give me some of that fucking ice cream right now because my feelings are flaring up. I'm feeling hives on my face <laughs> just thinking about the inevitability of having to watch that fucking episode. Well, let's get started uh, on the Halloween topic. What did you have up first? Um, well, actually, hold on. Um, first, we have some housekeeping. Just oh, a little yeah. bit. Just a little bit. So, first of all, after editing our first and second episodes, I want to sincerely apologize for all of my microphone fiddling, because if it graded anybody as much as it graded me, you probably want to hurt me right now, and I do not blame you. They're probably the same people who want to hurt me for the... Oop, go ahead. Sorry. It's okay. Same people who want to hurt me for the squeaking chair in the background. You know, I think that one was okay. I didn't... Even afterwards, I didn't notice it as much as I thought that I would. (laughs) Anyway, go ahead. But secondly, going forward, we are going to have a consistent weekly schedule. We're going to aim for publishing every Monday so you can start your week off knowing that we're a mess and feeling sound in the fact that you are doing pretty great in comparison. (laughs) (laughs) So um, we had some hiccups with our sound files that totally ruined the premiere date plans. So you received episodes that bookended last weekend, one on Friday and one on Monday. But that probably won't happen again. So we hope you enjoyed it. I'm knocking on my table there. (laughs) Yeah. So do you have any housekeeping? Um, As of right now, no, but God only knows by the end of the episode if I've already made notes for the next one. Okay. Well, we'll we'll keep that door open there. We may have some housekeeping later. We'll see. (laughs) So anyway, so Jimmy, you had stated previously that Halloween is like your family's religious holiday. (laughs) And needless to say, it's mine too. Um, Halloween is like... It's an intense obsession. It's a lifestyle. It's 
who I am. <laughs> like, at work, everybody knows that I do not work the 31st, or, like, if it falls on a weekend, the Friday or Monday before, mm-hmm. or before and after and this year I was actually late in putting in my PTO request for the 31st (laughs) and my boss was actually like I already penciled you in but I'm just checking what days you want off not if (laughs) what days I want off and I was like oh bless your heart you know (laughs) yeah yeah so that was fun I was Um, like okay everybody's aware just to add on to that one I am I'm not going to mention exactly what I do but they st- mm-hmm. I'm so mad that Halloween for the next few years is going to be in the middle of the week. Considering yeah, my job, I have to essentially call in a replacement. And uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, I mean, at least it'll be fun. Yeah, this year I In a certain kind of way. <laughs> I mean, but, um, I guess. Yeah, pretty much for my family, Halloween's like Christmas. Mm-hmm. When we were a kid, okay. when, I, when we were a kid, <laughs> like there's more of me. When I was a kid, <laughs> I'd been cloned, Sid. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> when I, was, I love it, though. When I was a kid, we'd essentially block off, like, the two days around around Christmas. God, Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> um, to watch horror movies, we would buy excessive amounts of candy. Like, we don't celebrate, really, Thanksgiving. We made homemade pizzas. Christmas is just present day. But Halloween, shut the fucking phone, shut the fucking door. We are here, sitting in front of a TV, scaring each other. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it so much. I got it bad, too. Um, my year is basically September 1st through October 31st is Halloween season. Yeah. Followed by Dia de los Muertos on November 1st. True. And then... Post Halloween pumpkin spice flavored everything season through Thanksgiving, <laughs> then Black Friday purgatory, followed by peppermint flavored post Halloween depression season until January, and then just kind of back to my everyday Halloween tinged <clears throat> lifestyle until the next September festivities start again. <laughs> Pe- peppermint flavored post Halloween depression. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's. Is, the, is that not accurate, though? I mean, it's absolutely accurate, but that literally just made my day. <laughs> you are welcome. I want that on a t-shirt now. I think you like, need I'm it. just going to wear it every day from, like, after um, after Thanksgiving through January. I'm just going to wear that. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, let's see here. So, has it always... You say it's always been this way for you since you were little, all that Halloween celebration, right? Um, as far as I remember, I Mm -hmm. obviously don't remember my first couple of years, but after probably age five, when they let me start watching horror movies with them, Mm -hmm. like they stopped kicking me out of the room when something scary was on. So I would just stay up late and watch (laughs) horror movies. Um, we would go costume shopping like two and a half months in advance. So it's back to school slash costume season. (laughs) <laughs> yes um which did culminate in a couple of years of really intricate costumes until that one halloween i had the flu that's when it oh no so bitter <laughs> but so did you not get to do anything that halloween or we my parents rented my favorite horror movies and considering i was 10 probably not the scariest things in the world and i wore my costume <laughs> for three days at the house Oh, that is so cute, though. <laughs> At least they made the effort, you know? They're like, let's live it up for Jimmy. They tried. The year before that, I was a black cat when I was a kid in the French Quarter. And it was awesome oh. because there weren't that many kids out trick-or-treating when I was. So oh, no. I would essentially go from store to store and raid their candy dishes. And they're like, yeah, take as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the life. It was great. Like, oh, jeez. You get a lot of good candy. Oh God, yeah, '90s kid in the quarter. Um, we went by Cafe Du Monde, and they gave me. They tried to give me chocolate milk. Um, oh. oh God, they're like Mars bars, but they weren't. And then I had Hubix pies, which, if you're not a New Orleanian, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like empanadas on crack. Oh, that sounds um, delicious. Chocolate filled empanadas on crack. <laughs> oh. feed me right now, Jimmy. Stop <laughs> talking and feed me one of those. It's real expensive, <laughs> considering they don't exist anymore. Oh, well, fuck. Why would you even say that to me then? <laughs> you know I'm emotionally fragile right now and I need food. Life is pain. 
Life is pain. Life is breaded confections. Um, speaking of <laughs> Halloween candy, I'm mm-hmm. going to ask you this. We're close enough in yes. age. Remember Fruit Stripe Bubblegum? Yes. Did you ever? It was awful. It was awesome for like five seconds and then it was awful. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It wasn't just I, me. I, no. Yeah. And I still see it every once in a while um, at the dollar store. Mm-hmm. They just have it sadly sitting mm-hmm. on a bottom shelf. And I'm like, yeah, you stay there <laughs> and don't approach my cart. It knows. <laughs> it, it should stay there in shame. It's okay. It should. It really should. So but. what what did you have going as a kid or in general? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't really get to celebrate Halloween as much as a kid um, because mm-hmm. my parents were very religious for many years. And so Halloween was of the devil. So it wasn't <laughs> until I was 12 that I was free to love and cherish everything spooky. And once I popped, I have not stopped. And it's been full force <laughs> since then. <clears throat> and I have worked very hard to instill the same love for Halloween in my sister as I currently have. Like, I'm trying to make sure that she has the best childhood Halloweens oh, yeah. that I never did. <laughs> From what I can tell, you're doing a damn good job. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. I oh, know, you're fine. We're my both gosh, dying. We're it's both... okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so tell me about your childhood Halloween costumes. I got none except for a devil costume, hilariously. It was the one time that I dressed up. <laughs> oh, God. Um, let's see. So, you know how on a cup uh, everyone would notice, on the very first episode, I made a comment about the unending clown fear. Yes. The first Halloween I remember dressing up, I was four. Yeah, I was four. And mm-hmm. I was a clown. <laughs> um, my cousin who was trick-or-treating with us was dressed as an angel, and then my younger cousin, who was like a year and a half old, was also a clown, so I can't imagine anyone who answered the door was very happy with us. Oh, Lord. Was she like a spooky angel, or was she just like a white light, white wings um, angel? To describe her carefully, she is the palest, blondest person I've ever met in my life, and she has always been that way. So okay. it was like so she was pencil, like a, pencil, yeah. halo, probably on top of the Christmas tree at one point, angel. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious, though. Two clowns and an angel. <laughs> I mean, I want that as a TV show or a supernatural episode. I'll have to send you the photo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Weird Castiel dress up time. Oh, uh, God. Um, if only. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> then I had two years as a Power Ranger. Yes. Different Power Rangers each time. Pink and then yellow. Good. And there was, I had the blue Power Rangers gloves, but I don't think I could find the costume that matched because I was a really tall seven-year-old. Oh, like, that's so cute. Really tall. Um, <laughs> black cat for a couple of years. I was, mm-hmm. it was like a Walmart costume, but I loved it because it was super nice for a cheap Walmart costume called an Enchantress. And it came with this purple dress and these weird gold, like, latex rubber sleeves that were the shape of bats. Mm-hmm. So you Velcroed them so on awesome. and they were covered in, like, this gold, it was gold paint, gold latex paint, and then, like, a gold glitter. Ooh. And I had a matching um, collar that was also a gold bat. Oh, my God. That sounds beautiful. <laughs> do you have pictures of that? I do. I actually still have the costume. <laughs> Oh my gosh! You need to take pictures of it. Like, crop your face out or like put an emoji over your face, but we gotta post those to the Instagram. (laughs) I'll get my mom to scan it for me. Um, Okay, good. That there's photos of that that I was a Jedi. I had all of the lightsabers, so I was a Jedi for like three years. I love it. (laughs) I think we talked about that too. Yeah, I had all of them, so there's one point where I was dressed as a Jedi carrying a Sith lightsaber. That was a weird year. Um, (laughs) In seventh grade, which was one of the last times I took my cousins out trick or treating. Mm-hmm. I dressed as a Jedi and we ended up staging a lightsaber fight yes. in the middle of the street <laughs> because you were living your best life <laughs> and I love it. Oh yeah. That was before <laughs> the um, fear of the shame had come in. So I'm like, yeah, let's do this. This is great. <laughs> Listen, let that shame be washed away and do it again. <laughs> do it this year. Do it next, or actually tomorrow, <laughs> by the time this comes out. Do it tomorrow, Jimmy. Just oh, God. do it. I could do it. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not allowed to wear masks, so yeah, I could. I could make it work. 
I I just want that recorded, please. Okay. I want a copy of that video. You don't necessarily have to share it with the world, just with me. In all likelihood, if it gets filmed, it's going on all kinds of things. <laughs> so it's okay. I'm at peace with Every us. single social media platform is going to know how great of a Jedi you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I might. <clears throat> um, Do it. But yeah, that was sort of the highlight of my kid costumes. There, and then the year mm-hmm. I was sick, I was supposed to be an anamorph, so I had this weird dolphin mask. I don't know. <laughs> that, <laughs> that sounds a little terrifying. In retrospect, it was. Um, <laughs> but I didn't think about it at the time. <laughs> well, no. You're just excited to be an anamorph. Yeah. You don't give a shit. <laughs> I gave zero fucks at the time. <laughs> I love it. So let's talk about the best costume that you've seen in recent years, or just like the costumes that you like to see on other people or memorable costumes that you've seen recently. Ooh, you got us started because I'm, I'm pulling up an image so I can describe it appropriately. Okay. Well, personally, my favorite costumes are the ones that kind of take me by surprise. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily like the big elaborate ones, which I do love and appreciate because of their hard work. But like the one that jumps out at me is a girl that was dressed up as a book return bin, <laughs> a book return bin. I cackled so hard when I saw her. That's it was just amazing. so, yeah, it was so unexpectedly mundane and charming that I, I just, I loved her so much the moment I saw her. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> back when Pokemon Go first came out, I saw a girl dressed up as a Pokestop and that just charmed the shit out of me. It was so cute. That's um, adorable. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, but honestly, if you're wearing a costume, I love you and I appreciate your effort to wear one because when you wear a costume, you are living your best life and that is just so special and precious to me. Um, let's see, the, my, the highlight of one that I saw while I was actually at um, my undergrad and it mm-hmm. was someone dressed up as, you know those um, some e-cards, the sarcastic ones? Yeah. She had dressed up as one. She had printed one out. And then her <laughs> her torso was the person in the e card. Are you kidding me? That <coughs> sounds amazing. It was hilarious. Like I honestly wish I'd taken a photo, but I felt creepy. Um, oh my gosh! What did the card say? Oh, do you remember? Yeah, actually, yes, I have it. I, that's why I was looking it up because I remember it. Oh. <laughs> um. That sounds funny. I want to do that now. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. The other one I see a lot is Miss Frizzle. Yes! Oh my gosh. Miss Frizzle. I, I want to do that one, but I can never do it justice. Here, the card sh- I saw was, I'm not arguing, I'm explaining why I'm right. <laughs> and she was in this, like, three-piece suit and looking very haughty. Oh my gosh. I H-A-U-G-H, not the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not both? You know. Um, but I've seen, I've seen quite a few Miss Frizzles. Yeah, yeah. I um we went to an anime convention this summer and I saw a couple of Miss Frizzles. I was like, Good job. Like, please love her. She was a precious pumpkin. Yeah, and that's the thing with Miss Frizzle is usually the costumes are amazing. Oh yeah. Yeah, they put a lot of work and love into them. <laughs> so Well, um, let's see. Jimmy, why don't you tell our listeners what you're gonna dress up as this year? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I essentially have two costumes. One is my work costume, which we're doing as a group. Uh-huh. And one is my afternoon costume. The afternoon costume is not finalized, so I'm not quite 100% on it. Okay. Um, the day costume is my job. The way it works is there's a team of three of us. Mm-hmm. And it's traditional that you kind of go as a set. So they're wanting to do the m ms I'm not a thousand percent sold on it but I'm doing it because I'm inherently lazy (laughs) I that is precious it's P-R-E-S-H Presh yeah there's like a little tutu and suspenders it's I'll send you a picture (laughs) I'm the blue one please oh you're the blue one I don't know why I was picturing you as a yellow one because I'm tall (laughs) (laughs) but the blue one works perfect yeah. Oh um, my gosh. They're going to get such a kick out of it at work. I love it. Yeah. I want to know everybody's reactions that day. <laughs> As a matching set. Um, yes. The please. O- other one. Uh, meh. Mouth words. 
Otherwise, I'm going as, as a character from Stranger Things. Yes! Who are you going as? Oh, gas. Yes! I'm going as Eleven. Oh, my God. I'm not, I'm not even doing the, the blonde friends? wig. I'm just going as Adult Eleven. I was going to say, <laughs> are you going to wear the lace front or are you going to shave your head? Because I'm not prepared for either one. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. My hair... Sh- Okay, my hair is really, really short, so it's not that bad. <laughs> okay, well, I want to see pictures of that one when it's all finalized. Are you going to do the bloody nose or just the, um, just regular 11? No, the bloody nose, I'm extra terrifying. Please do. Are you going to have waffles? Yes. Good. I We have a Perfect. freezer full of Eggos. I'm literally keeping the boxes. <laughs> And I'm putting them in a How backpack. How many are you going to carry with you? Are you just going to hand them out as treats? <laughs> I'm planning on filling them with candy. Yay! Oh, that is so cute. And I love it. We'll probably walk around, but either way, as I enter the door, I'll have them take the candy out of the ego boxes. Oh my gosh. That, that is such a good idea. You know, Why do you have such great ideas? I, well, I very nearly went as Nancy, but I, my hair is really short. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would have worked anyway it would have believe me i like 11 though and i had most of the stuff at home anyway yeah so might as well work with it yeah so you'll see pictures i could i also could have gone as barb but i don't have the eyeglasses for it <laughs> oh my gosh i think i saw a barb last year and i i definitely saw the um oh my gosh the <clears throat> christmas light Ouija board thingy. Oh, yeah. How she's talking in the, to the upside down. Yes. I saw um, one guy dressed like that, and I stopped him, and I was like, are you kidding me? You're amazing. And he just laughed at me, and I was like, maybe that was a little too eager. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Oh, to go back to favorite costumes, I did see a Handmaid's Tale this year when I was at one of the cons. Did you? Oh, was it a group thing, or mm-hmm. was it just it was like eight. Individual? It was like eight women. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrifying. Well, the thing is, they were walking around and they had the wings down, so they weren't greeting anybody, and they walked as a coordinated group. Wow, it was that must so have good. Taken a long, yeah, a lot of planning. Holy crap! Yeah, then they just they walked in perfect sync. It was distressing, but it was so good. <laughs> Man, I just love the amount of effort and time, and passion and money that people spend on their costumes it's just so inspiring i'm such a lazy piece of shit i go as a witch every year (laughs) because it's just an excuse to wear all my cute goth stuff that i can never wear to work Mm -hmm. um and i'm just boring and to do a face full of makeup which i never do yeah Um, well it's fun so when i see other people putting effort into their costumes i just go way to fucking go i love you you are the person i want to be (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, in the other window, I was messaging one of my friends um, at work, and she's like, no, I have a blonde wig, so I might be doing that. Hey, okay. Well, I want to see. Yeah, but I, the plan I is be... um, that scene where she's stealing all the waffles, that outfit. Yes. Yes. Please do it. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, do it with the wig, and I want to see pictures. So, yeah, I just scored a blonde wig on the air. Woo-hoo. That's awesome. <laughs> Yay. You witnessed history, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I also wanted to go as Tina Belcher this year. Mm-hmm. Which but, you could pull um, off. <clears throat> yeah, but the thing is, I want it to be a group costume. I w- I've been pushing for a Belcher group costume, but nobody's on board. And I especially, like, I would even just mm. be satisfied if my sister would go as Louise, because she has the bunny ears. Yeah. Um. But she's like, no, I want to be what I want to be. And I'm like, listen, just you can change out of the costume after we take a picture. Just fucking do it. Just humor me. But she won't do it. (laughs) I'm kind of surprised knowing your sister. Like, that would have been an awesome costume pairing. I know. But she's, I mean, she changes her mind on costumes so much. Mm -hmm. Last year, I think she ended up wearing, like, four different costumes throughout the Halloween week. (laughs) Um but none of them were Louise. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Whatever. Sorry. My feelings aren't hurt. I'm not salty today. You're not bitter at, about anything. I'm not. I'm not. I'm such a happy-go-lucky person. 
Um, but anyway, so do you um, give out candy or do you go out on Halloween? A little bit of both. Um, when I'm back home, usually we go out. But considering mm-hmm. where I'm at, I must, we mostly stay in and just hand out candy and try to frighten people. Yes, I love it. I'm trying to figure out how to rig the door so it opens without me touching the doorknob. <laughs> that could be dangerous. Yeah, or it could say. be amazing. It could be amazing. You just got to remember to turn the feature off when Halloween is over. <laughs> You know. Just, I mean, you don't want any accidental like, <coughs> black-eyed kid encounters, is what I'm saying. Well, I mean, my door opens to the inside. Well, but still. Yeah. I mean, I don't... I mean, you don't want to accidentally invite them in. <laughs> it's like, whoops, forgot to disable it. Come on in, you know? Uh, I, thought, I thought children worked based on the vampire principle from Buffy. You have to invite them in before oh, they can that's... come in. Well, but That's not true. if your door automatically opens, isn't that an implied invitation? <laughs> we really we <laughs> we we're gonna need to do a like a full essay on this. I need to do some investigation. Um, I need to do some testing. I I'm not clear on what really constitutes an invitation. Ex- we have to actually do some controlled experiments. We need to figure out the variables here. Yeah, like does a welcome mat count? <laughs> Does a um, prior text count? I would think so. I would think so. Yeah. That's how I function anyway. It just depends. It's like if I've a, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so, well, you guys stay in. Um, I go trick or treating with my sister, mm-hmm. and I will keep doing it until I no longer can, and then I will probably rent somebody's kid to go with. <laughs> And then if someday I have no choice but to stay home, I want to be that house on the block, you know, mm-hmm. with the good candy and the completely overboard decorations. And I want like half the kids to be terrified of me and half the kids to be like, this bitch is amazing. She gives full fucking bars, you know. You know what I'm <laughs> oh, I do. That, everyone knows that house. Oh, yeah. I want to be that house. <laughs> So, but um, speaking of handing out candy, Mm -hmm. let's talk shit about Halloween candy that was given to us for free. Let's just shit talk it. Um, Did you ever get one of those wax bottles? Yes. (laughs) That garbage. You bit into it. It's like chewing on a crayon. (laughs) Oh, God. Yeah, those things. You know what's? My sister actively buys those and loves them. And I'm like, what is wrong with your culture? Your, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> That's just distressing. Like you young children, mm-hmm. what are you doing? What are, what's going on with your life that you actively like this thing? <laughs> but so, well, anyway, wh- so tell me about your favorite treats to receive were and then what your least favorite ones were besides the wax bottles. Um, absolute favorite. I can't really get them anymore. Mm -hmm. (coughs) because they were banned because people are a lot of things but one of the Mm -hmm. houses near where we lived in the corridor used to give out wonder balls (gasps) oh my god it's more like a condo complex but yeah whatever but they used to hand out those like treat size wonder balls oh my god that sounds ah that Um, sounds amazing that and um six lips i have a problem so said uh, next time we get together if you'd like to bribe me six lits <laughs> six lits have you ever okay. had that what about i don't think i have i'm i'm currently let's see oh those things are those the mm-hmm. things that come out of the vending machines um sometimes usually you just see them in this weird tube that com- comes out around halloween but yeah they can okay yeah, because I think I only know that as the vending machine candy. <laughs> I didn't know it had a name. Yeah, it does. <laughs> they they do. Oh, my gosh. What about least favorite candies? Ooh. Um, that you've received? Gushers. Don't talk to me ever again. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my alien sons and daughters ever again. I'm sorry. It's the texture <laughs> difference. It. It's, I have this thing with texture, and it's... I want to like them so badly, but when I bite in and then I get delicious gummy candy and then liquid that is also delicious, but in a different way. <laughs> and you can't. I can't. And, okay. Can't process. And you can't. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we're gonna have to reevaluate this friendship. Ah, oh, brutal. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. I'll probably also say something that will make you reevaluate the side of it. Well, and then we'll be okay. I'm just saying, this is in your benefit. It's more gushers for you. Oh, hey, when you spin it that way. Okay, we're good. We're back on. I'm just saying, <laughs> if I ever get candy I don't like, I find a person who likes it and give it to them. Oh, Lord. That's how Thank I process. You. Okay. That's how I survived as a kid, bribing the neighbor okay. kids. <laughs> we, we're good. We're back on. The friendship is saved. <laughs> the podcast is saved. Everything's good. <laughs> I'm just saying, we've been friends for like eight years now. I'd hate for this to be the deciding factor. That's true. Me too. But, you know, sometimes you just, I just don't need that kind of negativity in my life. But then you spun it into a positive. I will give them so for you. Good. More for you. Thank you. So what about Thank you? you. Um, well, I always appreciated the candy that mm-hmm. I would not go out of my way to buy, but I still liked. So, for example, um, Heath bars and Paydays and Pop Rocks and Butterfingers and things like that. Okay. Because I, like, if I go to the store I and I want a candy bar, I'm going to pick up, like, a Snickers or something. But I'm never going to, like, look further than that. So mm-hmm. I always appreciated having those in my basket. It's like, oh, that's nice. It's a reminder that you exist, and so I'm going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I can get on with that. Uh, yeah. It's like special treats, I guess. <laughs> I- um, but I always hated chocolate tootsie rolls because they're the last ones that end up like in the bottom of the bucket when everything else is gone Mm -hmm. and i just it's i don't like them i think i'll eat one but i won't enjoy it i'll hate it the whole time which (laughs) i go Um, back and forth on tootsie rolls how do you feel about the the um alternatively flavored tootsie rolls fruity tootsie rolls is one of the things that i do appreciate receiving Okay. Because I won't go out of my way to buy those, but if I see one, I'll eat the shit out of it. Okay. So now I don't have to and get very dramatic about it. No, no, no. Please don't. Um, I also hated Sweet Tarts and Smarties, the American chalk pills, not the um, British chocolatey things. And root beer dum-dums. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Those are disgusting. I don't know how anybody likes any kind of root beer flavored candy. Root beer is disgusting. It's a sin. I just, yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Do you like root beer? I did as a kid. I've dis- started to dislike it as I grow up. I was just laughing because I love the chewy sweet tarts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you well, give them to me, I'll trade you for gushers. Okay, let's do it. Friendship <laughs> saved. <laughs> but, yeah, so I I mean, at the end of the night or at the end of the the Halloween candy bucket, it would just be... A mix of Tootsie Rolls, Smarties, Sweet Tarts, and Root Beer Dum-Dums. Yeah. So, well, I, I'm not too fond of those. I can't really blame you. I was always bitter when I started just getting the random Dum-Dum flavors. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, you're clearly not paying attention. Oh, yeah. No. It's like, just, just retire those, please. <laughs> <laughs> but, so... You know how around the holidays people have their Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's traditions? Mm-hmm. But let's talk about Halloween traditions. Ooh. Do you have any that you keep up with every year? Um, every single year. past couple of years since I've been out of state on Halloween, we usually do it via Skype. But um, I rewatch or via text even, the first three Halloween movies with my mom. Yay! We've... Oh, that is so freaking cute! And we do it every year, and it's Partially, I didn't even register when I was a kid. This is just how my mom would start, the song my mom would start singing around Halloween. Have you ever seen Halloween 3? I don't think I have. Okay, it's called Season of the Witch, and it doesn't have anything to do with the other Halloweens. Like, it's it's a weird <laughs> one. And it part- Why would it? I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, so, there is this guy who sells masks, and I'm going to collapse a bunch of this down. And it has this little song that's like, two more days till Halloween, 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 two more days till Halloween, Silver Shamrock. Because the store is called Silver Shamrock. My mom would sing that to me all through my childhood. And then I finally watched Halloween 3 and got really distressed. (laughs) Oh my god. That is so freaking cute on her part, though. But she does it for, like, Halloween, birthdays. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> okay, now that's still hilarious though. But she sings the <laughs> Halloween version for my birthday. It's really strange. I mean, she is mom goals. She knows. I'm just saying. Um, she is goals as a mother. Besides that, it's kind of cha- changed depending on the year. Mm-hmm. I always rewatch Halloween. Usually, mm-hmm. um, if I'm in town with my parents, we'll go out and see a, a scary movie of some kind while well, I'm here. Sometimes um, my boyfriend and I will go. But I have yeah. to watch, every Saturday, I have to watch a different horror movie. Of course. Um, I s- also reread one of, a couple of my favorite um, horror short story anthologies. What um, anthologies are those? Um, one of them I only picked up for the first time last year, and the way it's spelled, it's what the bleep was that, and it has, like, the asterisk, hashtag, et cetera, et cetera. It's what... The, oh, that's cute. It's called What the Fuck Was That? Mm-hmm. And it has one of my current favorite short stories in it from, um, Sean and McGuire. Mm-hmm. And... Tell us about the story. It's actually take It takes place through, the, uh, through a Twitter feed. Of oh. a set of um, ghost hunters that are going into this super creepy house that, like, mm-hmm. murder of, I think, 17 people occurred in. Mm-hmm. And then, essentially, it goes rapidly downhill from there. One of them ends oh. up skinned. Um, there's a lot of murder oh. going on. And then, gradually, the house starts taking over the Twitter feed. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's so- that sounds amazing. I need you to link me to that. Or, actually, I'll just go to the library and I'll check the book out. I'll at least give you the um, main title and, like, the printing information. Okay. Please do. I'm excited now. It's it's really good, and it's really brief. I usually read it in, like, five or ten minutes, but it's a very good short story. Um, mentioning the same author, I've also, the past two years, my boyfriend and I reread her zombie trilogy. Mm-hmm. Called, What's it called? Um, news, it's called News Flesh. Mm-hmm. But it's... Three, it's a set of bloggers that are have survived the zombie apocalypse. I think you linked me to that, didn't you? Oh, like, probably four years ago. Yeah, yeah, because I'm pretty sure I still have the that email in my um, inbox. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, stuff changes from year to year. What have you got? I, um, well, for my <coughs> traditions... My entire Halloween day is just one big tradition. <laughs> um, and I'm about to walk you through. So grab some popcorn. Oh, I've settle in. got my six list. You're okay. <laughs> you got your six. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, I take the day off every year or um, mm. the Friday before or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and I join my sister for lunch at school. We always have sushi and the naked juice. I don't know why. But we've been doing this for like six years and every year is the same. Um, This year I suggested changing it to pizza and she almost strangled me. (laughs) Well, it works. It's so cute. It works for us, I guess. It's a treat. And then um, once I leave her school, um, I drive through this historical neighborhood downtown to admire the leaves. And then I do some last minute Halloween errands. Mm -hmm. Um, And then by the time my sister gets out of school... The next couple hours are spent putting on our costumes before we head out to meet her friends at the edge of the same historical neighborhood. And then we always trick or treat up and down that street. Um, And then if there's time at the end of the night after we give everybody a ride home, um, we visit an old neighbor Mm -hmm. who usually has Cheetos and Capri Sun for us. (laughs) She is so precious. We actually ran into her at the grocery store and she's like, yeah, you know, I'm 78 years old now. And I was like, oh my gosh. And she's. I'm like, we're going to stop by and we'll, we're going to um, stop by for some more Capri Sun. She's like, yes, please do. So <laughs> this year is going to be the year for cheating. You know, do it. Sun I kind of wish I still lived in my old neighborhood for things like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she's the only person that we consistently visit. Um, but anyway, and then at the end of the night, once everything is all done, we I don't know how this started, but it's also been several years now. We always go to Applebee's <laughs> and we go in full costume. Oh, that's amazing. It, yeah. Yeah. So, and then that kind of concludes our night. And then if we are able to, we take the next day off and we set up um, altars Recover. for, um, well, no, we set up altars for um, Day of the Dead um, for my great grandma and great grandpa. 
and then we just oh, spend yeah. the day doing the Mexican traditions for that. So this year, unfortunately, we can't, um, but we try to as much as we can, and we oh. do like the traditional decorating with construction paper chains and oh yeah um, all that fun stuff so i've i'll post some pictures this year of what we previously did um but it's always real nice because my mom really gets into it she really likes to um, hang on to that tradition and i don't know if i would be good at continuing it but i like to participate too so yeah but that's about it for me i'm actually just remembering when you sent me photos of some of the altars last year i think yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. my mom real, like, she went real, like, housekeeping magazine <laughs> type of, like, uh, arrangements, like, table arrangements with it. And I was like, hey, you've got a good eye. Yeah, last year's <laughs> was intense, if I'm remembering right. Um, yeah. No, I did forget something. What? Until, I think, last year, just because of timing, we didn't get to do it. But every other year, you and I have spent that last weekend watching, doing a horror movie watch along. That's true. Yes. Oh my gosh. We got to do it this weekend too. I'm totally game. I think it's just Let's because it. we've been doing it so consistently recently. But yeah, that, that's been our thing. Kind of that on and off since true. what? 2011? 10. Yeah, 10. <laughs> well, yeah, 10 or 11, something like that. You know what? Let's do it because next Saturday I'm probably going to get kicked out of... Um, upstairs because my sister's having a party oh because that's a, the other tradition i guess it's not a halloween day tradition but um her birthday falls along the winter holidays mm -hmm. so school is always closed and so she can't take any treats to school everybody's out of town nobody can come to her birthday parties so everybody now just thinks that her birthday is on halloween <laughs> which i'm like i'm so jealous that you can at least pretend Oh. Um, so every year, instead of having a birthday party on her actual birthday, we just do it on Halloween as a joint birthday Halloween party. Um, and it falls on next Saturday this year. So I'm going to get kicked out of upstairs because this year she is a teenager. Oh, so she, yeah. She's getting so yeah. big. She is. And honestly, I don't want to be around a room full of teenagers anyway. So we'll <laughs> we'll do something next Saturday. How's that? Sounds good. Um I was just pulling up the dates, and the movie we were talking about earlier is already out. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's that's what we got to do. Well, no, because it's – is it in theaters? Or is it – can we watch it somewhere? I'm looking. <laughs> okay. Well, the movie that we're talking about, mm -hmm. um, we're going to shift away from a Halloween traditions, and we're going to talk about movies that we – like to watch around Halloween or movies that whatever mm -hmm. we're talking about movies now it's, whatever it counts because that's kind of how we met was those Friday horror movie watch alongs oh yeah I mean they even yeah. gave me my so name so, so they okay. gave you your name so I guess um movies that you should watch this Halloween because <laughs> we enjoy them and we like them and the first one that we need to mention is the house's October built. Oh God, that was such a distressing movie. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had no expectations going into it. Yeah, I was, I was expecting. I truly, truly, completely was expecting to shut off the movie like twenty minutes in. Oh God, we were so prepared for garbage because I seem to remember we started mocking it mercilessly and then it gradually faded. Yeah, like we went in all cocky mm -hmm. and shit like, oh, yeah, look at this piece of shit looking thing. And then as the night went on, it got quieter and quieter <laughs> and quieter. And we were just basically internally screaming. Just like, look at this garbage. And then we started just not even internally. We both lost our shit. It's true. It wasn't internal at all. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing with us is ever internal. <laughs> no, no, it's pretty much at you or... No, I'm texting you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So the Houses October Built is a 2014 American found footage horror film. And it uh, is based on a group of friends who are going to these extreme haunted house attractions in the days leading up to Halloween. Mm -hmm. And they're just trying to find one that will just really scare the shit out of them. And that they won't, like us, mock 
uh-huh. you know? Yeah. Um, so it's it was kind of, <laughs> I guess it's kind of a parallel of our own attitudes, you know? That's true. And we're hoping to find our very own house that October built someday. Well, I, I guess we kind of did with this movie, but... You know, and the thing is, part of it takes place in New Orleans anyway, so I've probably been by it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Uh, well, do you remember we when they to... got into the quarter during, during the Halloween parade and I lost my mind because I knew where it was at? Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> that that entire sequence just came rushing back to me, and I remember you being like, that's not actually how that path goes, and this and that, remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they were cutting down <laughs> these alleyways that don't connect. Yeah. <laughs> they went from, like, bourbon to Pirate's Alley. I'm like, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, you know, I really appreciated that because that just grounded me again. I was like, okay, <laughs> take a deep breath. It's all good. Jimmy's debunking. I love it. But at least one part of it that I could safely. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> but, um, so that, just watch it. I, I think it's on Netflix, isn't it? It maybe? was. I don't know if it is well, anymore. Well, it was. I don't know anymore. But if you get a chance to watch The Houses October Built, please do so. <laughs> you will not regret it. And if you do, you just have bad taste. Yeah, we've never revisited <laughs> it. That's what's funny. We haven't. I think it was kind of intense. And I think we really need to be in a mood for it again. That's true. You know? Like, we have to be prepared. I don't want to sour it, like, right now, me being so bitter and salty. I don't want to sour <laughs> this beautiful film yes. with my shitty ass attitude. And it was a glorious thing. <laughs> it was. It was. And it's very wor- worth um, watching. And now there's a sequel coming out, right? Or it already came out? It came out, out uh, September 22nd. Oh, my gosh. That long ago. We are so out of it Jimmy yeah we're off um it looks like we watched it April 8th 2015 did we really I just pulled up my Twitter (laughs) I swear to god that we had watched it closer to Halloween no we watched it when I got back (laughs) to um California oh my god wow (laughs) time passes shit I have no sense of anything I don't but either it's cool and then why don't you tell our Twitter story? Okay. <laughs> you actually started this one. You posted it first. Um, oh, did I? You did. But you, um, you had watched, we had just watched it and you posted on Twitter something about the house's October bill ruining your life. And I yeah, posted like. Yeah, I think like, I said. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. I think I said to whoever made the house's October bill, fuck you. That's li- I think that's literally what I said. I just said, fuck you to the director. <laughs> um, and I ended up posting with, yeah, I watched it too. It messed me up irreparably. Mm-hmm. And I went on for a few minutes, said, I should not have watched it at night. Seriously, we just turned it on. It's 10 p.m. here. Why? Why? And <laughs> they went through, liked both of our posts, and then replied. They did. <laughs> and it made my life. It was so good. <laughs> oh my gosh it was a, a truly a highlight of my life <laughs> to receive that tweet and I was starstruck <laughs> it was so good it doesn't help that it looks like the next thing I posted to you was um bracket speaks native language in bracket <laughs> that was oh my gosh what was that was that an X Files that or was that another movie that start no X Files was the um that package Yes, the diplomatic pouch. Yeah, the diplomatic pouch. I found your post. <laughs> to everyone even remotely involved with the house's October built, fuck you, fuck you forever. I love you. <laughs> that sounds like me. Yeah, the diplomatic <laughs> package was the X Files episode. Um, Speaks native yeah. language was actually the Gentle Misting movie. Oh, that's right, because they are in some Eastern European country. Yeah, and they never actually say what they're speaking. It just says speaks native language. Oh my god, that we have to live watch that movie again we have to revisit <laughs> the gentle misting and then i just want a t-shirt that just says gentle misting no context um no explanations just I, gentleness i actually have this on my notes for movies people need to watch mm-hmm. and while it has some problematic parts partially because the actual actress isn't deaf but hush oh yeah um yeah. that yeah, weirdly enough, that messed me up more than I was expecting. 
Really? I mean, it just spooked I really... me. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And I think I, it's because I watched it when I lived alone. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, well, that I remember we watched that together, didn't we? We did. Um, I watched we it did. and then rewatched it with you. That's right, yes. Because I kept saying did. you need to see this. Yeah, and I wasn't going to give it the time of day because the Netflix um, title card <laughs> just looked so cheesy. It, I was like, what is this? It does. What is this low-budget piece of shit? Silence can be killer. So, <laughs> silence can be killer. Yeah. But that was, yeah, that one. I'm just so terrified of home invasion things. Like mm -hmm. The Strangers mm -hmm. was, I, I watched it once. And I don't really want to subject myself to that again because I can deal with monsters and all that fun supernatural stuff. Yeah. But home invasion is a <laughs> whole flavor of horror that really, truly terrifies me. You know. But that one was a good one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one, I, I lived alone at the time. And the first time I watched it was like 2 a.m. Oh, Lord. Why would you do that to yourself? Because I, I mean, I know exactly why. <laughs> But I'm also just asking. <laughs> just, you know, I'm just saying I know sign. So I wanted to see it and see how bad the sign language was. And I ended up getting distracted by the unending horror of someone stalking you when you can neither hear, speak, and you live in the middle of the forest. <laughs> and you don't have curtains on your <coughs> fucking windows. What? That was my big beef with it. It was like, girl, I know you live in the middle of the woods, but some curtains. Curtains are like 20 bucks at Walmart. Come on. <laughs> That that's one of my I like I want to rewatch it, but I think I've only seen it that one time, and then I saw it with you. Yeah, I think I watched it one more time. Like I watched it with you, mm -hmm. and then I watched it one more time. But yeah, I also haven't gone back to it. But it was a good one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> well, the one going a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Um, the one that I have been watching over and over and over again, and I am probably going to watch it when we're done here, mm -hmm. is what we do in the shadows oh god yes yes oh god it is such a beautiful movie it just it speaks to my soul that i want that movie projected on my gravestone when i die it is ridiculous just... i love it oh my god a, a fucking vampire documentary i <laughs> i was it's just so charming and precious <laughs> Believe it or okay. not, I was really hesitant to watch it until you told me about it. Seriously? Oh, yeah. I mean, I suppose I would have been too, but I'm just I'm just such a slut for vampires True. that I will usually... And, well, like more humanized romantic type of vampires. I, yeah. I'm not really into the terrier flesh out and it's more like animal than person type <laughs> of vampires. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I would have watched it regardless, mm -hmm. but then I also heard a lot of good things and I saw a lot of gift sets on Tumblr is what really pushed me towards it. I especially like the, um, the brushy brushy when, uh, oh my God, what's his name? Viago is brushing <laughs> Peter's teeth. Yes. Oh my God. That, that just reined me in. I was like, I'm done for. This is my new favorite thing in life. Um, I've got one as a Halloween recommendation that you might want to poke your nose into. Ooh, tell me. Have you... There's a podcast called Lore. Yes. And now they have a show. Yes. I literally just added it to my <laughs> watch list. I binged it last night. The whole thing? I really enjoyed it. Um, at least what's on <laughs> the, first or the first couple episodes. I didn't oh get through episode six. I was through the first three. Oh, my gosh. It was Is so it entertaining. Is it wonderful? It's glorious. I mean, some of it is questionable acting, but that's not what I'm there for. <laughs> no, and you know what? When you are in the horror supernatural genre, you can't really expect top-notch Academy Award winning. <laughs> no, I look for quality plot. acting. That is a mistake that you will <laughs> sorely regret. Oh, it's you true. You just got to embrace it. It's true. Just, yeah. Um, as long as the... the <laughs> No pun intended. As long as the lore is good. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. I didn't even mean to do it. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. Good. I'll, I'm going to have to watch it. Um, I need to find time to do all these watch along things. I enjoyed but... it more than Amazon seems to think I want to watch Julia's Eyes again. And I really don't. 
Ju- what's that about? You watched it with me. It's a Guillermo del Toro movie. It was entirely in Spanish. Um, she oh. has that degen- degenerative disease where she's losing her eyes. Her sister goes missing. Eye donor. <gasps> that sounds... How long ago did we watch that that we didn't review it? Uh, this was right before we started the list. But yeah, it was Ojos de Julia. Okay. That sounds familiar, but we'll need to do a rewatch. Yes, I'll rewatch it with you. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a point where I think you cracked and just started mocking it. <laughs> oh, okay. That's probably why I don't remember so much. Because <clears throat> if I'm not that into it, I will just block it out of my mind forever and ever. And I cracked Was too. It... We were destroying it. But there's this point where... I think I cracked when I looked at the science they were trying to explain. That's not how biology works. Oh, my gosh. What is the other one that we noped out of? I think it was in Spanish, too. (laughs) Oh, God, I know. It's the cave. Oh, God, the kids kept going into the cave, and they came back possessed by demons. What Was it? Was it that one that takes place in Mexico? Probably, because it was, I know it was, like, a bunch of, like, Spanish-speaking, blonde, blue-eyed bitches that I was like, no, wasn't it? Or did we finish um, that Para Elisa that I was so mad about the pun? Oh, we did. It was terrible. Oh, here. no, because I think that one was okay because that's the one where it turns out with the dolls and shit. Oh, I'm confusing with Here Comes the okay. Devil. Okay. Which we... I don't remember, but there's one that was awful in Spanish that we were just like, no, fuck this. Um, I'm sending <laughs> you the link right now. I just found it. Oh, Lord. Let's not relive it. No, but I feel like you need to at least revisit the title. It's called Here Comes the Devil. Here comes um, the plot devil. summary. A married couple. Spoilers if you want to see some terrible movies. Mm-hmm. Um, lose their two preteen children during a family outing to the outskirts of Tijuana. After the loss on a nearby hill... <gasps> Luck and good fortune brings them back to their parents the next day. Fuck, I remember that one now. (laughs) Yes. Okay. No, we didn't nope out of that one, though. We were just at the end. I think if we had been physically next to each other, we would have just turned and looked at each other for like five minutes, (laughs) turned back around and probably just shut the lights off and been like, we're done. Yeah, it would it would have been the camera check, but we just stared at each other for a solid minute and a half. No blinking. Just staring. Oh, for sure. I can't remember the title. I know which one you're talking about, but I can't remember it. Yeah, I can't either. But you know what? I think it's better for us and for humanity as a whole, for our listeners to not know what movie that is, because it was such a waste of time. <laughs> God, we we have sat through some shitty movies. Yeah. And we that we ended up enjoying one way or another, whether we genuinely enjoyed a plot twist at the end Mm -hmm. or whether we just mocked it so hard that we had a good time, but we noped the shit out of that one. And that is a rare occurrence. Yeah. I seem to remember what we went back and like watched an episode of fringe in lieu of finishing it. I think we did. Cause we were like, yeah, we can't take the risk of seeing something else that is equally or more shitty than this. Like I just, we could not emotionally handle it. So we turned on Fringe because, you know, that we can emotionally handle that. <laughs> yeah. And I can't believe I for a second, I seriously thought it was Here Comes the Devil. But we did finish that. It's so bad, though. It was. It, the end was just so bizarre that I was like, OK, sure. Why not? Uh-huh. Whatever works but, for y'all. Anyway, so I think we are this is running really long. So <laughs> not too bad. I think we should maybe start wrapping up what do you think i'm totally game we've gone through our rituals routines candy costumes and as always we got derailed by our horror movie love but it's halloween it counts of course of course oh can i just mention Uh because you cannot mention in america halloween without mentioning roseanne halloween specials (laughs) please tell me that that was your shit too yeah it was your shit it still is to an extent I I have been watching. I have been skipping since Amazon has the whole series. Uh-huh. I've just been skipping through the Halloween episodes and watching them, and I just love them so much. My the only one that I I'm not super into is the one where she has a Halloween past, present, future. Just because she's such a bummer for oh, so well, much of the episode. Yeah, that one's depressing. Mom and I used to watch them. Yes, it's just an American tradition, especially like Midwest 
mm-hmm. family tradition, I think. Oh, yeah. That's just what she did. Especially, it's just what you did. Yeah, especially after we ended up in Indiana. Yeah, it's just it's what you did. Yeah. And I just I just want to say that I hope to someday host some epic Lobo like parties the way that she did. <laughs> Um, I want to do like <laughs> remember when they did Dedger and whatever mm-hmm. Morton Dedger or yes. something like that. I want to do that someday. Sorry, I'm looking at the summaries <laughs> and episode three might have the best summary. Oh, uh, tell trick me. me up, trick me down. Jackie flirts with a moose. Roseanne pranks the new yes! neighbors, and George Clooney guest stars. That okay? Listen, listen. I remember this episode. Did I tell you about my idea for a Roseanne podcast? No. Oh, okay, well, I thought about putting together a Roseanne podcast, mm-hmm. and um, I was going to name it something that was a reference to that episode. <laughs> Such a good and episode. I'll tell you off the air, because in case that I end up doing it, I don't want to jinx the title. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But no, that's that's my favorite one, because Arnie, remember, Arnie's like, hey, man, I'm Elvis's ghost. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Arnie was the worst piece of shit character. Okay. Holy shit. He was. But it's okay. We he love was. the show. We do. <laughs> but And then more, more recently, um, I've <coughs> been really enjoying the Bob's Burgers Halloween specials. Oh, those are a gift. I just, I love Bob's Burgers so much. It is a holy gift unto this unholy earth. <laughs> and then their Halloween episodes are just so beautiful. And um, my favorite so far has been the one where they try to scare Louise. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I feel like Louise, even though I know I'm a weenie, I feel like Louise where I'm just so jaded <laughs> by my horror movie loves that I just want somebody to really, really put a scare in me the way that the Houses of October Built did. I mean, that's how it should be. Um, it's how it should be. But I just I really appreciated the love that they put into scaring the shit out of her. I was like, oh, <laughs> so but. That's all I got for you. That that's about where I can wrap up. I mean, we could probably talk forever, but we should let people rest. I think so too because we are over an hour now in the time. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we should let it go. So, okay, next time we do promise we will talk about Supernatural and Fringe. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, by then I have watched season twelve Supernatural and have caught up to the horrible truth. Of season 13. If you'd like me to walk so you expect through. expect a lot of tears. If you'd like me to walk you through any of season 12, I'm welcome to hop online while you're watching. Listen, I, you best believe that I will text you and I'll probably like collect my tears in a vial and send them to you. Okay. So I this. just be prepared for that. I'm prepared. But anyway, <laughs> so we, um, we have some homework for the next week and to gather our notes about our supernatural fringe watch alongs that we did because that was a whole especially fringe that was a whole experience and then we got head cannons for crossovers it's just I, it's magical i have a fanfic it's a thing <laughs> yes oh my gosh you know the other day i found apparently i never mailed you my last pocket letter you did not and in it i found this little like cartoon that i did of Dean and Peter getting in trouble and Liv yelling at them. Oh my god! And I cannot believe I never sent it to you because it is hilarious. Send it to I me. Think. I will. I will. So, but anyway, so that's what we're going to talk about next time. Sounds good. And um, oh, before we forget, if you'd like to reach us, you can email us at phantompodcast at gmail dot com. We have the same handle on Twitter. Have mm-hmm. the same handle on Instagram have the same handle on Tumblr, and you're already listening on SoundCloud, so I hope you got the right title. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. So, yeah, I'd hope so, too. But thank you so much for listening, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed our Halloween traditions here, and please let us know what yours are, because we are always welcome to um, adding to our own or just enjoying what you do. Absolutely. Well, thank you for well, joining us. Thank you. Sure thing, and happy Halloween, everyone. (laughs) Bye. Bye.